My wife, Becca, used to hum the Spice Girls. She drove me around the fucking band, you know. All day long, walking around the house humming. She was happy. I don't know why she was happy with me, but she was happy. Oi, gorgeous. Vodka soda, hold the soda. Thank you. Drinks are free, but the food's bloody awful. Ah, he tells her, for fuck's sakes. Okay, just let me shake a few more hands and then we'll be out of here. Whoa! Easy, Tiger. I want you in the A game. A game? Mm hmm. No, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Becca. New senior director, digital marketing. Uh, yeah, how did you know? I have my sources and your name tag. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> uh, this is my husband, Billy. Great to meet you. Billy Butcher. Good to meet you. Love that accent. Homelander right there. I'm here about your wife. I believe this was a few days after you met Homelander at that Christmas party. She was alone with him for three hours. Not long after that, Rebecca went missing and has remained so ever since. One way or another, Mr. Butcher, I believe Homelander was involved. He's a fucking superhero. You wouldn't believe what they get up to. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Not long after that, she came and sat right here. I know this because she got tagged in that security camera right there. She sat here for three hours. Didn't move a muscle. And she just got up and walked away. That was eight years ago. And nobody's seen her since. Eight years ago, Stillwell called me with quite an interesting challenge. Rebecca Butcher had come to her with a completely unprecedented medical condition. What condition? She was pregnant with your child. Pregnant? I, I thought I couldn't. So did I. Apparently, nature is tenacious. The fetus was developing unnaturally fast. We told her we'd deliver the baby safely at a secure location. But she had to sign an NDA. Couldn't tell anyone. Not even her husband. You can imagine the size of the potential scandal. The birth was difficult. The baby clawed its way out of her. The blood loss, no one could have survived. She died on the table. And the baby? Lived all of 10 seconds, drowned in its mother's blood. Hey, Miles. 
William Butcher. What do you want? You know what I want. I don't know how breaking into my home and threatening my child is going to get you, Homelander. Always is. I've been searching for her cunt's weakness. He doesn't have any weakness. No. There isn't a weapon on Earth that they haven't thrown at him. They've all failed. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. Me? Yeah, you're the only thing he gives two shits about. You're his weakness. Shh, 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 shh. Take it easy. You don't want to upset Teddy, right? What are you doing? Hey, look, mommy. You all right? No. Madeline. Take him upstairs. All good. I got him. I got him. You are pretty darn impressive. I mean, especially for, you know, one of you. See, even now. Most people standing where, where you are be pissing their pants, terrified, but you. I'm sure you're, you're, your heart's pounding, but you're not afraid. It's anger. It's a new one for me. Homelander, will you please take the baby upstairs? All because of your lovely wife, Becca. Right? Okay. Let's cut the bullshit, huh? You know that we, uh. Bro. Not my fault, okay? She came on to me. It happens. Will you stop? You know, it's, it's the fame. They got crushes. There's nothing I can do about it. But what I will tell you is, she was a hell of a lay. <laughs> oh, she came three times, eh? Three times. All right, little man, have a little lie down. Good boy. I want you to take him out of here. There you go. That's not really it. You think I'm responsible for her death, don't you? So now you have a hostage that, that I care about, right? Someone I love. So what's your plan from here? Uh, what do you want? Do you, you want a confession or what's your end game? I'm just gonna hurt you. I mean, really fucking hurt you. And that'll be good enough for me. Excuse me. You promised me. No more lies. You fucking promised me. You and Vogelbaum should have got your story straight. They were so close. So fucking close, but there was a few little details that were different. So I went back to Vogelbaum, and I managed to squeeze the truth out of him. The real truth. Yes, that's it. I'm so sorry. I should never have lied to you. I know now that you don't need to be protected. I'm so sorry. Will you please take Daddy upstairs? Did, did you ever really care about me? You mean everything to me. No. No, no. I mean everything to your job. You care more about that fucking baby than you do about me. No, I love you. I love you, I love you, I swear I love you. But, tell me the truth or I walk out right now. I'm scared. I'm scared of you. What? I said I'm scared. Of? Of you. I'm scared of you. Thank you. Thank you for finally being honest.
What was that plan again? Oh, well. Wakey, wakey. Hey, buddy. You're out for quite a while. You can thank me for uh, saving you sometime later. But for now, time to get up. Come on, you're going to love this. Come on. Mom? Well, look at this handsome devil. Hey, pal. You know who I am? Homelander. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you know who else? No. Becca. Oh. Mommy didn't tell you. We 